Hi, it's Dan again. Thanks to everyone who watched the video I posted yesterday about the unboxing of my latest novel, Fiona's Guardians. And thanks to everybody who commented, by the way. So many uh, uh, wonderful messages from uh, all of my friends and, and people actually I've never met in person but have met or interacted with online. So today I want to include a a follow-up to that video unwrapping. My publisher, Richard Mayers, reminded me that yesterday when I showed you the front cover <laughs> of Fiona's Guardians, I neglected to include the back cover. And uh, Richard Mayers, my publisher, uh, has a personal stake in this and that he designed the front and back covers, and also designed a lot of the promo art that I've been sharing on Facebook, Twitter, and uh, Instagram. So here we go. We're going to reveal the back cover now of Fiona's Guardians. Okay, remember the front cover? Here we go. Let me see that uh, we have a little bit of a jewel there, a red ruby, because at one point Fiona describes her favorite tipple as uh, Ruby in one of the chapters. So here I'll go ahead and read this um, in case you haven't been able to, uh, well, in case you're not able to uh, see the type here. Clean house, pay bills, poor O negative, wait for Fiona to wake. This is what life is like, working for a beautiful, manipulative vampire. Yet Daniel risks his life every night to harvest blood for her, even after losing a limb. After 35 years, they fail to notice their gradual encirclement by Mors Strige, an ancient order of monks dedicated to the extermination of vampires. This time, her family is pushed to the edge of extinction. What keeps him loyal? And will he ever be allowed to leave? Thanks again. And don't forget, Fiona's Guardians, available for pre-order on Amazon, Barnes & Noble, and other retailers. And it officially comes out October 2nd, just in time for Halloween. Halloween.